Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Welcome if you're new. I'm Stacy, and today we are going to be painting in my mini fancy wancy itty bitty um, round watercolor sheet block that I have. It's four inches. I got it through Sketchbox. Um, I took the cover right off. So I'm going to put that up there out of the way. And I went ahead and sketched in a little turtle dude. Do you see tiny little turtle dude swimming around? And I thought we would watercolor him in today. I drew him in with my mechanical pencil. And this is my gnarly <laughs> kneaded erase. We've been friends for a while. I have out my little Sennelier palette. It has primaries, lemon yellow, bright red, ultramarine blue across the top. And then the Chinese orange, and I also have Payne's Gray and Indigo in um, Sennelier colors. I This is one of my first Sennelier um, tubes that I got, was this set here. It comes with four, and then these two I bought separately because I love Indigo, and Payne's Gray was one of those colors that was a neutral that you could put other colors in and kind of lean it one way or the other, which I thought was super fun. So I thought for today, we would play with primary palette and these few little colors here that we have and see what happens. I am going to... Where did my spritzer go? That's fine. I don't need spritz. I can just use water. <laughs> Grab my, my water container and set it over here somewhere where I can actually reach it. There we go. Go on side. Grab some water. This is a... Art box paintbrush that I got. It is a Robert Simmons Sapphire S85 round number six. It has really good snap and it's a very nice brush. So I thought I would use it today for a little bit more control and I'm holding it way back on the end um, because the tip isn't floppy like my, my Princeton Neptune watercolor brushes. So I can hold it back and still have a little bit of control. And um, be quick about things. Not see when I hold it. When I'm holding it down here, I'm getting in details and I'm, I'm micro micromanaging the situation. But if I hold it back here, I get to be loose and free and a little less a little less in control of the situation. I want to take some of this ultramarine blue down here. We might, we might do a little little splotches of indigo on here too. But for right now we're going to go indigo or ultramarine. Just drop it in. Woo! That was the only thing I found with this little round one. Now I can put under it is a little bit of shelf paper. Don't mind my shelf paper. It is used a lot. There, now we won't slide around. Let's peek out the corners a little bit, sorry. I don't want to be too strong because I want my turtle to glow. I want him to glow. There we go. Let's swoosh that ultramarine around. Kind of let it bleed about a bit. I'm going to take some off. We are having thunder showers, so the windows open, the fans are on. It is 68 muggy outside, but it is 76 in the apartment, so the fans are on. There's wet road noise from the cars. There's a little bit of thunder right there. If you guys can hear that, I will try to um, reduce the background noise when I edit. Okay, a little more. I'm going to bend out a bit and go right to those edges. And then I'm going to take some of my indigo, which I love. It's got a little bit of a green cast to it, to my to my eye. I'm going to dollop it in down here. Just to give a little bit of depth down here, a little bit of interest. Maybe he's swimming in shallow water, right? And the Sennelier colors 
they re-wet really, really easily, and they're super warm here, so, um, they look moist, but they're, they're a little bit dry. They re-wet super easy, though. It's very nice. Looks like rocks or maybe some. Oh, we could put in a little bit of pure red here and there. Maybe there's some anemones down there. Some little bit of reef color. Why not? Well, that's interesting. I like that. Let's get a little bit of the. This orange is so nice. Put a little yellow in it though. I'm gonna brighten it up a bit. And just drop it in here and there. That's cool. All right, I dig it. Maybe a touch more of the red. Not too much. Getting carried away now. See, found something I like. I'm like, ooh, let's do that. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Now I'm gonna I'm gonna let this dry because I wanna do a little wet into wet technique on him, and uh, it's better if the paper is completely dry around him. That way, you see all these bleeds I'm getting. That won't happen. Ideally, and if we want, we can go in later and do another coat on the top. But I don't think we'll need to. I'm digging it. Alright, we'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to zoom in the skosh. And I'm going to do a little wet into wet on him. The first I'm going to do is his shell. I'll just wet that real nice like that. And I think I'll wet some orange. Bit of yellow. Like that. Like that. I'm going to gently blot a little bit there. Okay. Because I want to put some yellow. And blue, and green. Oh, yeah, look at that. So nice. And then, do a little, little swatch here and there. A little bleed around. There we go. Just a little bit. Don't need a lot. Put hair on there. Not bad. Much more there. Pure yellow. And then, how's that? I like it. Okay. Now we're going to move from there. We'll put a little bit of this yellowy orange. Gel. Mm His -hmm. lower shell situation. Actually, no, I can do. a little yellow wash over all of them. That way he looks uniform. A little yellow wash. And that way the edges of his thin there, his flipper, that I got a little too much 
blue on will turn green. Dig it. And there's a little clip there here. That in. That little clip right there. And this. And there's a little face. And there we go. And then and drop in a little bit of green. Here and there. Just along the edges. Some down here. And a little bit right here. Boop, 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 boop. So cute. Look how teensy he is. He's just a beautiful little teensy turtle. I'm going to do this back chin. Not, not the whole thing, just here and there. Like that. And maybe a little bit down here. Okay. And then I'm going to create some of this indigo. In that eye, and then a little bit of shading on this little head. All the dots that go there. We're going to use a thicker consistency um, to do the details. So let's let him dry a little bit, and then we'll come in and put in some little fine, refined details. And that'll probably be it. One second, you guys. Okay, now we are going to, <coughs> I think, I think I have a teensy, yeah I do, ha <laughs> ha, I have a teensy brush. Because this is a teensy painting. This is a number one, white nylon, I think it says King Art brush, excuse me, round. I just eat dinner, sorry about that. <laughs> I'm going to use the blue touch of indigo. Don't you know? Make kind of a pasty green color. Oh, I got too much water in there. Gosh darn it. A little more yellow. A little more indigo. There we go. I'm going to start at the top and put in some little bits of suggestion of the little, I don't know what you call them, scales, tiles, turtle tiles. <laughs> oh, <funny. laughs> we don't need a lot and they don't need to be super close together. Let's zoom in a little bit more, a little bit. There we go. <laughs> Here and there. Down and down. Maybe down the middle a little bit. Right there. Boop. Yeah, and then let's see. doing just some lines, random lines, because he's so tiny and so far away, and I can be able to see all the details. Anyway, unless you want to be exactly like that with your piece, you totally can, but I'm not interested in doing that. Let's see. Good. And then I want to go a little bit here. And then maybe here. Right here. And then. Um, just little dots because he's kind of 
a little scary body situation going on. Like that. Get the idea across, right? Yeah. Look at him, he's so cute. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and put a little shadow in here. And then let's see. Let's go in the middle. Right there. Let's do a little bit of Just to create some form. Little circle shapes. This back area has a bit of shadow. It's, you know, underneath. And then a little, a little turtle shell lines. Nothing definitive, just just a little bit here and there. up close to the lights. Place the top of the head. That's the top of the flipper back there. Mm -hmm. How's it looking? Pretty neat. Interest, just for some little bits of interest. I think that's good. Mm -hmm. 
a bit more. Darkness on the back of this guy. I think he's dumb. What do you guys think? Other than um, my instinct to put line art on top of him, which I really don't want to do. I think he looks pretty cool. Alright. There we go. There's our mini painting. Now, on these little, these little round blocks, there's a tiny little hole right there, so you can get a palette knife or any kind of smooth, semi-sharp surface to push the glue away, away, like so. Woo! Operator! And there he is. Our little Sketchbox round four-inch palette. Or block rather of watercolor paper. And there's our little, our little total painting. I feel like I should smooth out the surface of the water in the back. What do you guys think? Get a little. There. Maybe a little there. On that edge there. Yeah, let's do that. How'd you get right down to the show? Yeah, I like that better. That's nicer. To my eye. Anyone else like it better with the light background? Not quite so deep blue. Or do you prefer the blue like that? Like that. Drop that in. He's having a grand day, guys. Just chillaxing. Floating about. Doing his thing. You know, like turtles do. Carefully. There we go. Yeah, that's better. I did that. Okay. Mix it in there. Dark bits down here. Like so. Yeah. Oh, I'm digging it. Okay, now I really like it. <laughs> now I really like it. Alright, let's put a little more green over here. Kind of soften that yellow out a little bit. Yeah, now I dig it. Alright, I'm going to stop fussing because then I really won't like it. Here's where, here's where I fuss too much. And I get too carried away. Okay. Okay. Should we give him a quick dry? I'm going to give him a quick dry. And there we go. There's our cool teensy turtle on a little bitty piece of paper. Wow, I think he turned out awesome. What do you guys think? I think we're going to do more in the future. I've got, got some pages to get through. <laughs> if you stuck through the video and you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up, please, down below. It helps the channel grow, and I appreciate it. And here are all of our supplies that we used, along with these two brushes. Let me zoom out a little bit more. There we go. Here's our 
brushes and our palette. And yay, there we go. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.